I think you will. Hundreds of families are still recovering from the January floods 10 weeks later. And right now, some of the emergency help is coming to an end. So here's important information for you. CBS State's Chris Quo joining us live outside the county administration building with what officials are urging flood victims to do right now. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning. And if they haven't already, they're being asked to go ahead and okay, contact the FEMA. The links to use that to make sure that they can go ahead and get tied up with FEMA for assistance. Now, for those that have been using the temporary lodging, that is set to expire on May 11th. And they have since come up with a plan on how to have these people transition out of that lodging. Now, it's going to be broken into three groups. About 800 households will be a part of this. Those who have been notified, the first will have to move out within seven days, and that's because they haven't registered for FEMA aid. They've broken the code of conduct while staying at the temporary lodging, or they do not have proof that their homes were damaged. Those that have been told that their home is safe to move back into will leave within 14 days, and those that are still working with FEMA will have all the way up until May 11th. They could be working with FEMA on finding a permanent or new temporary place to stay while their home is under repair or they're trying to find somewhere else to go. Now, according to the county, 400 program participants have not yet applied for FEMA assistance, and they are encouraging them to get that done as it helps again with this process. They say that 169 households have not even answered the phone or responded as of last Friday. Now, something that has expired that is no longer in effect right now is uh, the protection for renters. A moratorium on evictions and rent increases did expire on Saturday. That was put in place by the county, and they did confirm this morning that that indeed has expired. Eric and Netta.